Hey guys, thanks for joining us with Homesteading with the Heberts. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about mouse traps. Um, one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and watch some trail footage on mice attacking one of the traps so that we can get a better understanding of how the mice actually work on the trap, which will give us a better idea of the types of bait we want to use and how sensitive we really want those traps. Stick around to the end and I'll explain why I use the spring traps. Okay guys, so here you can see a mouse is on here. This is baited with regular peanut butter and you can see that they're, they're able to really go at it because they just barely grab it, all right? And they're very gentle. You can see how this mouse is actually stepping on that trigger mechanism. Okay, now here's another view of another of a mouse going at another trap. Again, this is baited with peanut butter. And you can see how they're really able to snatch and, and barely bite on that bait and not get the trap to spring, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to get around this. Guys, so I've got two different types of traps here. Okay, I've got this vector. And these are very similar to the picks that you can get at the dollar store as well. And then I have this brand here. I can't even tell you the brand name, but it's got a picture of a mouse on it. Um, there's a couple different ways in which you set these. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set them first, and then we'll talk about baiting. So I'm going to start with this mouse one. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and pull the tr spring back. Now, before I do that, let me show you here. This one's got a hole in it. So if you see right here, this one has a hole that the, the uh, trigger mechanism is going to go into. Okay. I'm going to just slowly lift, lift up so that it locks it into place. And then I'm going to let go like that. Okay. That's how you're going to set it. With this style, it's a little bit different. As you look on here, you've got the trigger mechanism here. Okay. And it kind of, if I turn it this way, you can see how it's bent over to the side here. The trigger mechanism is going to go ahead without setting the spring right now and take it like this. You're going to set it underneath just like that. So now I'll show you with the spring. So you pull the spring back here. Okay. Once you have it there, you can go ahead and let the spring up. It's catching. Then you can let it go and you're good. Now, with these vectors and the ones that come from the picks or the dollar store, one of the things you can do to make them a little bit more sensitive is take this little bar here. I'm just going to straighten that out just a little bit more. Okay. This one's bent over pretty good. So I'm just gonna bend that so it gets a little bit straighter. All right, that's gonna make it harder to set, but it's also gonna make the trap work more effectively. All right, two of the most popular baits is gonna be peanut butter. And I like to use Nutella, okay? Or this Fendella to off-brand in Nutella. The reason I like this is it gets a little bit harder. And as you saw in the in the preview or the the trail camera, the mice actually try to just nibble on it and they can stay on the peanut butter for a while because the peanut butter stays nice and soft. With this they have to pull a little bit more. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and use the Fendella. Peanut butter works really great if that's what you have. It's just 
takes a little bit more to trigger the trap. Go ahead and grab my chocolate side here. Now, one of the keys to these traps is not to overbait it. And see how I'm trying to get it into that nook? Okay. This way here, the bait is there, but they're going to have to work to get this. I'm going to smear a little bit on top of like this. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to put some on the bottom of it as well. The reason I'm doing this is I want the mouse to try and lift this. Go underneath and hit it as he's trying to lick it off. And it'll trip the trap better. There we go. We got it set. We're going to go ahead and set this one. Again, we're going to bait this differently. This does not have that same type of... Um, it's just got this little divot in here. So we're going to go ahead and get some Nutella. And remember, we don't want to over bait. But with this one, we got this little hook. I'm going to put it into that hook area. I'm going to put a little bit on this one. And then put some underneath. And with this trap, the trap has to get pushed down more. So we're going to concentrate more on baiting behind this hook. These are my least favorite traps. But I have it, so we're going to use it. <sighs> one of the reasons I don't like this one. All right, so we got them set. Now we're going to talk about placing them. What you want to do is you want to find an area where you got a lot of signs of mice. You can see here, I haven't cleaned this up, but you can see all the tracks of the mice. So there's they're definitely down here. So we're going to go ahead and set the trap up. Okay, again, I always hold the back of the trap so that when I'm placing it, it's easy to place. And if it trips, I don't get my fingers. All right, so there we go. We got them placed. Now... I usually place two traps, pairs. That way there, you know, you got more of an opportunity to catch them as well. All right, guys. So you've watched the whole video. Um, now, the reason why I use the spring traps is very simple. Um, they're effective. They work. And they're cheap. Okay. Um, live traps, sometimes you'll forget them and you, you end up killing the mouse anyway. Or even worse than that is you take them outside, you get rid of them, and the mouse just comes right back into your house. All right. Um, now, as far as baiting them, you notice that I use either peanut butter or the Nutella. I find those work the best, but sometimes you will get a sprung trap and the mouse won't be there. If you want to prevent that a little bit more, you can go ahead and use a nut or any other type of food and super glue it onto the or hot glue onto the trigger mechanism and that will cause that mouse to have to pull on it a little bit harder and make sure that, that they're still there close enough when the spring snap trap uh trips all right guys remember to click that subscribe button as well as hit that notification button bell and we'll talk to you later